One of the biggest mistakes first-time visitors make when traveling to Paris is having unrealistic expectations. The City of Lights is home to some of the world's most iconic architecture and famous landmarks like the Louvre, the Arc de Triomphe, and of course, the Eiffel Tower. There's no denying that Paris is a beautiful city and one of the most popular travel destinations in the world. But it's not all croissants and macarons. There are some things that go unmentioned when it comes to visiting Paris. If you've been binge watching Emily in Paris and finally decided to see what all the fuss is about in person, here are the 10 things that you should know before traveling to Paris. Number one, Paris is always crowded. No matter when you visit, chances are high that Paris will be crowded with tourists, especially around iconic landmarks like the Eiffel Tower or Notre Dame. This can be overwhelming for first time visitors, so make sure you have a plan for where you want to go and how long it will take you to get there. And don't forget to factor in waiting time. The worst times to visit are during the summer months, so if you can, try visiting during the off season when tourist numbers tend to be lower. It may still be busy during the spring and fall, but it won't be as bad as May through August. Number two, the locals aren't always welcoming. Parisians are notoriously proud of their language and they are also known for disliking tourists, especially if you don't speak French. So I recommend brushing up on your French before you visit and learning some basic phrases. Here are some common phrases to help you get by in Paris. Number three, Paris isn't cheap. One major thing that typically scares first-time visitors to Paris is the cost of pretty much everything. Paris tends to be a bit more expensive than a lot of other European cities, so it's good to know what you're getting yourself into before you go. Whether you like staying at hotels or Airbnbs, Paris ranks on the higher end of the average cost per night spectrum. Beautiful hotels with Eiffel Tower views typically start at 300 euros per night. Pricing for hotels usually depend on two factors, location and quality. The closer you are to the tourist attractions in the center of the city, the more you'll pay for a room. The quality of the accommodations such as cleanliness, amenities, and customer service will also depend on pricing. Typically, expect to pay anywhere from 250 to 400 euros per night for a decent hotel in Paris. Eating in Paris can either be costly or not, depending on your taste. Realistically, you can spend around 25 to 50 euros per day on meals. There are several cheap food options around the city if you know where to look. Typically, places that are further away from tourist attractions will offer cheaper food options. Number four, pickpocketing is a huge thing in Paris. If there's something Paris has that's better than anywhere else in the world, besides their croissants, it's pickpocketers. Parisian thieves are the best in the business and they won't think twice before snatching your wallet right out of your pocket. Inside the train, at train stations, and around popular tourist attractions are the major locations where pickpocketers like to hang out. You should be extra careful at Place du Trocadero, Sacre Coeur, and anywhere around the Palace of Versailles. Make sure to keep an eye on your belongings at all times. Here are some helpful tips to avoid theft in Paris. Number five, some parts aren't very clean. There's a tooth about Paris that often gets overlooked. Some parts can be quite dirty. While certain areas are super clean and well-maintained, like its iconic landmarks, some areas can smell pretty pungent, like piss. In addition, you'll also find graffiti by taking the train, in side streets, and in non-touristy neighborhoods. So if you're planning a trip to Paris expecting everything to look like an Instagram filter, prepare yourself for the truth. Number six, Paris is huge and not a very walkable city. If you look at the city map of Paris, it looks like its tourist attractions are all pretty close, but that's actually not the case. Walking from the Louvre to the Eiffel Tower can actually take you 45 minutes. Although you can walk to and from certain landmarks, the best way to get around Paris is actually by train. The metro is pretty easy to navigate and it's also inexpensive. It's recommended that you either get a metro card and add credit to it as you go, or buy tickets in a bundle of 10 for about 17 euros. Number seven, many restaurants around touristy areas aren't that good. I've heard many people who visited Paris say that the food really isn't that great. That's probably because they were eating in all the wrong places. Paris is one of the biggest gastronomical hubs in the world, if you know where to eat. Avoid the restaurants and cafes that are right next to tourist attractions, as these are typically tourist traps. Instead, visit some of Paris's best foodie neighborhoods like Le Marais, Montmartre, and Saint-Germain-de-Prés. Number eight, you should carry cash with you. Although most places will accept credit cards, some smaller shops and street markets are cash only. Make sure you bring a few euros with you, especially if you plan on buying souvenirs. Number nine, don't expect speedy service at restaurants and cafes. Unlike in the US, dining in France is a leisurely activity. They will expect you to take your time and you should expect them to do the same. When you're ready to order, make sure to shut your menu and place it on the table as a sign to your server that you're done looking it over. But don't expect them to be checking on you every five to 10 minutes because they won't. Just sit and enjoy your time. Number 10, you shouldn't put locks on bridges in Paris. Although it may seem cute and romantic, it actually compromises the integrity of the structure and can cause serious damage. So just don't do it. 
It's so easy to get caught up in all the stories and pictures we see online about Paris. Beautiful sunsets over the Seine River or cozy cafes with perfect croissants. But it's important to keep in mind that these are just snapshots in somebody else's experience of Paris and may not reflect reality for everyone else. People often get upset when they arrive in the city and expect it to be like Netflix's Emily in Paris, but then they're faced with hordes of crowds, unwelcoming locals, and pickpocketers instead. Traveling to Paris can be an amazing experience, but it pays to know what you're getting yourself into before your trip. Make sure to check out the description for some of the top things to do in Paris, and don't forget to subscribe for more travel tips. Thanks for watching, and happy travels!